Welcome to Pocket Woman Lock Picking and Lock Sport. Today is Tuesday. On Tuesdays, we do Lock Out, Tag Out, Lock Tuesdays. Lot of Lock Tuesdays. Put the hashtag Lot of Lock Tuesdays on your videos so when we do the search, it comes up sweet and we can find it. This series was started so that we can feature the locks that keep our workers safe. We explode them, we explore them. We pick them, we attempt to pick them, we talk about them, we show them off. It's a pretty fun series. A lot of locks are pretty special. One, they save lives. And two, they're a really fun pick. Spools, lots of them. If you want to learn spools, grab yourself a lockout, tag out lock. Good cause. Companies have to put good cause in them because of the OH safety laws you have to have good cause so we end up with the best of the best in lockout tag out locks so today I'm just going to push this little one aside for a minute This is what we're talking about today. This is the one I tried to pick earlier in my last video and I couldn't do it. It's too crudded up. It's too crusty. So we think it's the 400B keyway. So I said I'd come home and I'd explode it. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how I do it. Grab yourself a nice strong blade. I use these, they come out of Stanley knives, reason being I've got a heap of them left over from the carpentry days. This is not a flat surface, it will wobble on you, so be prepared for a little bit of movement. I'll grab my blade, this is still held together, I did try and start it so I wouldn't bash it so much for you. Stick your blade on your line. The reason why I use a thin blade is because it creates such a an even cut and doesn't take too much meat out. And when I glue it back together, it's, it comes up pretty seamless. But you can, if you're not confident using a blade, you can cut it with a thin hacksaw. Now, when using the blade, safety first. Eye protection always. If you need to wear gloves, wear gloves. Make sure your pets are out of the room. If you hit this and this snaps, this can fly off anywhere. Okay, let's get started. Grab your little trusty. Think I'm through that way now these have been put together really well so they will take a bit of effort oh sorry about those with the uh, earplugs in um, Turn your volume down, I'll give you the thumbs up when it's safe to turn it back up again. Now this is really strong, so yeah, it takes some bashing. Alright, I reckon I've got it to the point where I can pull it open. Let's bring back the other board.
Now I realise not everyone has a workbench in their kitchen <laughs> that doubles as a kitchen bench. So if you do this on your lock, your lock lab table, just beware that when you're bashing, everything on your table can go everywhere. So just clear it off before you start bashing. Alright, that's the snap we're after. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to move the frogs. There you go, frogs. Move the gut in and stuff. Okay. It'll still be attached up the top a bit, so we just give it a little bit more oomph. Okay. Let's see what we got. Might zoom you in a little bit since I learned how to do that. Woohoo! Check it out. Okay. Whoa, that's got some crud inside, hasn't it? That's maximum zoom in, people. Look at that. It's truth is, that's the outside. No wonder I couldn't pick the pins. Right. And that's with it being clean with degreaser, like brake fluid cleaner, look brake fluid cleaner, brake cleaner. Look at that. So you got your two locking port balls, you've got your actuator. Point to it with something you can see. Actuator, two balls. Your core or your plug. That's the bit we're after. Alright, let's just pop that there. Okay. That is pretty yucky. Okay. I'm going to try and use this for the first time. Let's see if it will cooperate with me. So I'd apparently meant for the little bits. Oh, that was dead easy. Oh, excellent. Thanks, Lock New. Love your inventions, mate. Just great inventions. Okay, let's keep moving stuff out of the way. Now, how am I gonna? Not gonna be able to pick this because I couldn't pick it. So, how does one then get in? Well, you shim it, you core shim it, which means I just gotta duck out and grab a pick. Hang on a sec, people. Amuse yourselves. Oh, I didn't give the thumbs up for the okay to uh, have a listen again. Sorry, people. Back in a sec. Amuse yourself. Okay. Cautioning. It seems like this is Lock Sport Lesson 101 at the moment. Okay. So there's our core. That's our front. That's our rear. Coming in through the rear. Can we even 
and get ready. And okay, so what we want to do is lift up them pins. Lift up the pin, push the core in. Not the core in, the shim in. Okay, I'm just really great with my words today. It's a tough one. Wow, it is crusty. Might have to put it down here and use some balance. The warding definitely does get tighter down the back, so it is worn at the front. See that six pin don't want to move. Could end up being a long video. I think we're already at the max. So um, make yourselves a cup of people. Why won't that pin even move? Okay, core shimming is normally not this difficult. Alright, okay, I'm going to have to pause this video, come back to you in a couple of minutes when I get this started, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Stay legal. Temptation is everywhere. <laughs>